um hey guys welcome back and for those of you who are new here um i'm cherno yalo cbj and for those of you who are here you might know i'm a recent high school graduate and a rising freshman at the university and throughout my tech journey i have had several internship opportunities currently i am a data science intern at the medical research council in the gambia known as mrc and Previously, I served as the lead AI and machine learning intern at Aventus Global Technology Company. So um, today I'm going to show you how to find and apply for computer science internships as a university student, right? So let's just brush through it. Um, these are some experiences I have had currently at MRC. Um, this is Aventus Global. This is my scientific research publication. Um, this was a, a public speech I was giving, and this was just an award that I won. Um, so why do internships matter? Number one, um, to gain real world experience working with professionals. A lot of the time, the stuff you have been taught in class won't be practicalized, right? Um, the lecturer might just walk into the class and teach you C++ or Java, but um, how do you practicalize it? Where do you use C++ or Java? Um, so these are some of the places where you practicalize that. And the second one, which I would say by far is one of the most important thing is um, recommendation letters. So this was a recommendation letter I received during my former internship um, at Aventus. So as you can see, um, this was for, for some um, applications I was doing and it's pretty wholesome. Um, number three is to learn about different specializations. So you just have a broader perspective of, of um, a lot of tech domains, web dev, AI, backend. Um, my former internship, I was working as an AI, inter an AI intern, but I work on a lot of web development projects and a lot of graphic design projects. And then number four is to build your portfolio with real projects, um, not just calculator apps or apps you just take from ChatGPT. And then the fifth one is to network and increase job opportunities through um, working with people in this in this uh, professional industry. You just get to meet a lot of people, um, a lot of people who are who share similar passion, similar inspiration as you. So it just exp it just expands your um your network, and then the sixth one is some internships lead to full time offers. So most companies are looking for long term investments, right? Um, they won't want to train interns at the end of the day just to let them go away. Um, they train them hoping they would stay, right? Um, okay, what do computer science in interns do? So this is depending on the um the company you are working in. But in general, these are some of the stuff you do. You attend meetings sometimes with your supervisors. You test software and, and troubleshoot box. Um, I remember in my former internship, um, I didn't have access, we didn't have access to any of the source code of the company's database, but we are giving um, a lot of software troubleshooting and box of the company's site. And the third one, you write code in languages like Python, Java, C++. You contribute to app and web development and then make research on emerging tech projects. I um, published a paper that was about uh, something e-learning collaboration. Something e-learning collaboration. Um, it was about a comprehensive research we did about how e-learning can be, can be implement, implemented in the Gambia. And it was basically during my internship, I have the opportunity to do all of those things. So essential skills before applying. Now, this generally depends, but these are some of the skills you need before applying. You need to get this. Number one is programming. You do not need to be a programming um, exp uh, expert because the purpose of the internship is to teach you, is to expose you to all of these domains, right? But you need to understand maybe at least for, uh, you need to understand um, Python or you need to understand Java alone or C++ alone. Just having that, um, that small programming experience is essential. 
And then number two is for DSA, which stands for data structures and algorithms. It is not also, you do not necessarily have to be an expert in this, but having a small knowledge of this is really important. And then the third one is web dev or app dev. A lot of these internships, um, a lot of these internships I work in, except for um, MRC, which I'm currently a new intern, um, involve working with web technologies or app technologies. So understanding web development or app development is really, really important. And then the fourth one, of course, it's not all about programming. You need to have some soft skills and workplace skills. You need to have um, communication skills. You, have, you need to have this team, um, team, team collaboration. You need to have this, um, this public speaking skills. You need to have workplace ethics. And the application process, so how to stand out? Here is just a checklist a checklist of what makes a strong internship application. Um, so these stuff I'm going to mention here are very, very important and I urge you all to pay attention. The first one is developing a strong online presence, especially on LinkedIn. So um, I'm just going to exit this and I'm going to go to my LinkedIn profile to demonstrate what I'm showing you. LinkedIn is one of the professional sites um, you need to be active in as a computer science major. There are a lot of opportunities and most, most recruiters, um, the first thing they go for while, when you submitted an application is to go and check your LinkedIn profile. So as you can see, this is my LinkedIn profile. Um, it's pretty wholesome, Chernobyl Rujalo. And this is the description, my website and about 2,000 plus followers. So your top skills, scientific research, machine learning, front-end development, and blah, blah. Your experience. So you just need to have something like this. Um, indicate all of your professional stuff and all of the certifications. As you can see, this is a certificate, a certification IC3 Digital Literacy. You need to indicate um, a lot of these stuff. And then your projects, your publications, volunteering, and everything. Um, okay, so the second one is to build a portfolio or personal website. So I'll just open a new Firefox tab in order not to interrupt this. And I'm going to visit my portfolio to show you some stuff. So this is basically my website. Um, you do not necessarily need to have something like this, but you need to have a website. Um, you know, where, where you demonstrate your skills, your portfolio, your contact. And if you scroll to the bottom, this is basically some intro and, and you know, stuff about me. This is the skill set where you, you mention all kind of skills you have. And then this is your portfolio section. And the portfolio section is where you um, just basically back your skill section. In your skill section, you mention you are proficient in Python. So how do I demonstrate it? Obviously, you need to show um, projects you built using the Python programming language, right? Um, the third one is to write a very strong resume or CV. A CV just stands for curriculum vitae and it's basically something that contains all of your, all of your projects and your, your background. So I'm just going to go and download my CV through my website so we can view it. Okay. Um, this is it. So as you can see, it's also pretty wholesome. You have the contact section. It, it just needs to be something very simple. Your top skills. At the time, this was my CV during high school. Um, obviously, there's an updated version now, but I do not upload it in the, in the cloud. So top skills, scientific research, computer programming, and blah, blah, blah. You just mentioned it there. This is a short bio description about me. I'm Chernobyl Jalo, this and this. And then here I have my honors and award section. The, the things I've won so far. You have the April 2024 best team member at this company, IC3 certification, British program at Nusrat High School. And these are the research works, right? Um, Level AI, comprehensive research on e learning platform implementation, STEM BI, and stuff like that. So this is the experience. Um, this this contributes to about 80% of, of 
of of your CV's importance. Um, a lot of people will just um skim through this section to see your experience. So as you can see, um, I arrange them in ascending order, starting with the most important one. This was lead AI and machine learning intern at Oventus Global Technology Company, and the duration from February 2024 to present. Obviously, um, I'm no more there. This was just pre um, at that time. This CV was for that time. And then my description was led AI ML projects, conducted research on e-learning platform implementation, won blah, 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 and promoted Oventus at this service or at this event. And then the second was Nusrat High School ICT club president. Um, I led the ICT club, a club of more than 300 plus members. I organized interclass tech competitions, raised more than ten thousand dollars for tech trips co-founded quotas hope and blah 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 so i would encourage you to use figures when um when i'm crafting your cv because it really shows the impact of your work rather than just uh, mentioning some basic facts that everyone is on their cv and the third one was an independent researcher so this was something that was really personal to me um the de description was conducted independent research published a preprint worked on level AI to detect harmful bacteria in water using ML and sensors. The fourth one is student at Smart Professional College completed the IC3 digital literacy. So um, these are just my experiences. You have a lot of them, the lead instructor, founder and content creator, YouTube, CVJ Tech, keynote speaker. Um, so this thing is very important. One might say this has no relation to programming or computer science. Um, this shows the impact of your work. Um, being invited to different events as a keynote speaker is really, really important, right? And the last one is basically I was a self-taught programmer, learned programming by myself. Um, going back, so the next one is to how to find computer science internships, right? Um, the most important steps in securing a computer science internship is through networking. Um, I've had a lot of offers where we attend events and then after the event, um, some recruiters or CEO of a company just reach out to you because they saw your presentation and they are always like, would you mind coming to my office and having a small discussion? Um, it's really inspiring to see you doing this stuff at a young age. So you need to attend a lot of um, tech events. You need to explore a lot of tech events. Um, the second one is basically cool outreach. This was a method I used to secure an internship. You just have to reach out to the professors or the CEOs on LinkedIn. Um, this was a script I used, their recipient's name, and then I'm reaching out with great respect and admiration for your work. So this is basically a who. You know, um, you want to grab their attention during the beginning of your, um, your, your write-up. And I am Chernobashiru Jallo, a passionate young computer scientist with a strong interest in, you mentioned your interest, I am a recent graduate of Nusrat Senior Secondary School, um, where I serve as the president and lead instructor of blah blah blah. I had the privilege of attending this event and found your insights on specific topic, um, profound, inspiring. So basically what this was, um, I attended an event where I was a speaker and there was this guy, this professor who was also a speaker and his explanation on certain topics really caught me and what did I do after I just reached out to him on LinkedIn and he was like, can you come over to my office and everything was set up, right? You might also want to attack your CV so they might see your experience and everything. And the third one. Um, which is not really common in the Gambia here is university resources and applying to tech companies. Um, a lot of universities outside have these advisors who would help students to apply for internships. But in case that's a barrier, you can do this. You can start applying to um, a lot of tech companies. Um, some companies that I've seen students get internships here are Asutech, um, Insys Global. I've seen some doing internships at GoMines. Um, the place I was also, Oventus Global, yeah. And then interview tips. So these are just some general interview tips you can use to ace your interview. Okay, 
Um, the first one is there is no limit to speaking, right? I remember during my first internship in high school, the interview was about one hour thirty minutes, and during the interview, I was asked about my interest, my background. The, the biggest question they always ask is, "Tell me more about yourself." And some people might say, "You do not need to speak for more than two minutes because it makes the in the interview as boring." This is not true. Um, I remember spending about five to seven minutes talking about myself and you know this is something they look forward to they want to know you more they are not robots they are humans so you have to talk as much as possible about yourself be yourself and the second thing i would say is to make research in advance for example if you are um if you are being interviewed by company x i would advise you to make an advanced research about companies x about the interviewer who is gonna interview you most of the times it is being um you are you will be told this you will be told this before the interview date arrives so you have enough time to prepare and make research on these people so this is basically a summary of everything of this video the first is to gain practical experience so build a lot of um, programming projects during your first year and second year you can use github also and and open source projects to enhance your credibility in the tech space and second is to build a very strong online presence linkedin personal websites third is to network effectively career fairs tech events and then leverage university resources career center handshake um unfortunately this is not very common here the fifth is apply early and persistently apply very early and apply to a lot of um a lot of diverse different areas and then final motivation um i would say computer science is one of the majors that is very very easy to have an internship think about this if you are doing engineering let's say you are doing aerospace engineering you need a whole lot of money to develop a prototype for your project to secure an internship but for computer science, all we need is just um, a computer and a human and a human being, right? So it's um, really, really easy compared to other domains to get an internship. And failures shouldn't be a stopping point. If you are rejected by company X, try company Y and, you know, just, just expand your options. Um, this is basically about it, the video. So if you guys have any questions about internships, um, scientific research in general, or anything related to tech, um, do make sure to drop them in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to answer them, even if it's just one person. So see you guys later.